It's just coming up to 5 a.m. I've just left my flat, thus beginning the long journey north. Come on, you all. So after an early start this morning, I finally made it to a breezy Tyneside, St. James's Park, where Watford will be taking on Newcastle United this afternoon in the Premier League. Just like last week, this is another potential banana skin for Watford. Like Huddersfield, Newcastle are yet to win so far this season. Give it a few hours, myself and some confident Hornets will be swarming up the 14 flights of stairs to the away end up there. Come on, you walks. In the dizzy heights of the away end of St James's Park, surely one of the best away ends in the Premier League. The team uses in one change to the side that beat Huddersfield last weekend. Jose Holobas comes in for Adam Messina at left back with Chalibur making the bench returning from injury. Going to be a really difficult game this one. Like I said before, potential banana skin with Newcastle looking for their first win of the season. If Watford get the first goal, I'm confident of holding on to the three points. However, if Newcastle get it, their fans are desperate for their first three points of the season. They're going to cheer them on right until the end. It's going to be a good time. Wasteful in front of goal. Aidy Mariapa missing from close range before Dale Fay should have tapped him following a swift counter attack, but it wasn't to be. Somehow haven't found the back of the Newcastle net. I'm just hoping those wasted chances don't come back to haunt us in the second half. Park has ended. Newcastle United 1, Watford 0. Obviously a really disappointing result on the road for the Orns. Newcastle with their first win of the season. It could have been so different though had Watford put away their chances in a dominant first half display. But we've paid the price. Uh, it feels almost like a smash and grab for the home side. Really, really disappointing afternoon. Too many players not at the races and we've got to pick our heads up. Go again next week against Southampton.